And welcome back everybody. Now just before we uh, continue with the second part of the introduction to Arduino hardware, there have been a couple of questions about where the other two items on my last video were purchased from, specifically from someone in the UK. So we'll just scoot over to eBay and see where I actually purchased these from. While we're at it, I mentioned yesterday that um, a breadboard like this together with an Arduino of whatever shape and size it is you have is indispensable for connecting wires up and so forth. Now there is um, another item that you can buy which plugs in on top of this unit here so it's the same shape and size but instead of having sockets here it has pins sticking out the bottom and it plugs into here and in the middle here a tiny little breadboard smaller than this actually fits in the middle as you can see this one's far too big so I wanted to have a quick look at that really to see how practical that would be in real terms compared to something of this size. So let's go over to eBay and just have a quick look at that. So here we are on eBay looking at the items that I bought, namely the uh, breadboard first of all. Now as you can see here this is in uh, British pounds, one ninety nine. It's a, it's a British seller, MS Graphics. I've used them a couple of times now. This price is probably about twice what I can get it for on eBay from the Far East, but I wanted this quickly, so I bought it from a, a reputable English supplier. In fact, they're only about an hour up the road from where I live, so it was just uh, horses for courses, really. However, I have bought stuff from eBay of a similar sort of thing, and it costs about a pound, so it's about the half price. Now, the cables, let's have a look at the cables, DuPont cables. Right, now this one, the seller unfortunately hasn't got any of the 40 way cables left on his website as it says here on my order, 40 pieces, it means 40 cables across them here. So he hasn't got any, so the price doesn't show, but as you can see here it's £2.23. Now I bought this for about about 99 pence a pound, so $1.50 say from the Far East, some various other ones, exactly the same quality, in fact let's face it, these British ones are probably just imported and sold on. So £2.23 as opposed to 99p, but I wanted some very quickly to um, give to a colleague, so that's what I did. Now, there's one final item very quickly before we resume our video. I mentioned the uh, prototyping shield, here it is. Now as you can see, this is um, a board, Arduino Uno sized board, without electronics on apart from a couple of switches, and these header pins that are very long. You might be able to just about see them sticking out from underneath here like a lot of centipede legs. Anyway, they plug into your Arduino Uno header pins and then this board here goes in the middle here. So there it is all made up. However, I'm concerned that this board is going to be so tiny that it might not actually be worthwhile. But we'll see. I've got one on order. When it turns up, we'll have a little um, play on it and see exactly what we can do. Okay, that's it. Let's get back to the video and see what other hardware we can do with if you're going to be following me on this video journey. Okay, see you soon. So let's now continue with the uh, fundamental hardware that you might need for Arduino in addition to what we spoke about last time. Now if you're going to order those items I mentioned just to get yourselves going, there's probably a couple of other things you can get uh, to make life a bit more interesting. Uh, first of all is an LCD screen like this. Um, now this one is a 16 character wide by 2 line deep LCD display. Uh, the one here I have on my desk is a 20 character wide and 4 deep. Um, we'll just have a look on uh, eBay, eBay where you can get those as well. Um, now I mentioned this is showing the date. Let's think about items like this. Now this is a real time clock or RTC as it's known. Now there are two variants, main variants anyway, of real time clocks. There's this one which is a DS1307 and I would suggest you avoid this one like the plague for reasons that we'll talk about when we come to use this in a real project. The one that you really want looks slightly different and it looks like this one. So you've still got the battery holder on the back. It's a lithium rechargeable battery. It's not the sort you buy and then throw away. Um, on this side, here's the main chip. It's the 3231. You might just be able to see that on here. 
the, especially if I hold it up the right way. Can you see that on there? 3231. There it is. So that's the that one there is the is the main ship. So that's the main real-time clock. Um, now you can see there are in fact more pins down here than I said before. We said we needed four pins, two for power and two for signal. We'll talk about what the other two are a little bit later on. So this is the one I recommend. Let's have a look on eBay to see how much this one might set you back. Right, so here we are with some listings on eBay for the DS3231 real-time clock. Um, as you can see, this one here is 99 pence, which is a penny short of a pound, which means it's about $1.40 at today's exchange rate. Um, nothing wrong with that price. And in fact, it becomes so cheap that it's almost a case of, well, I might as well just put one in my project because I can. It's that simple. Anyway, there's, there's lots of them on here. Um, I think all these 3231s are pretty much the same. I couldn't find any difference anyway. I don't mean in price, I'm talking about the technical uh, side of things. They all communicate via the I squared C communications bus, which means the 2Y protocol. Excellent. Uh, they also give you a couple of other extra features on them that the 1307 doesn't, which we'll be discussing in uh, a little bit of depth when we come to that particular video. So just to summarise then, the hardware we spoke about today was um, an LCD screen, either a big one like this, which is 20 characters by 4 lines, or a smaller one like this, which is 16 characters by 2 lines. Um, a real-time clock, but not this sort of shape, which is um, the uh, DS1307, avoid that one, you want the 3231, which is like this one. Um, oh, incidentally, the, although there's no battery in here, when I ordered it, it did come with that rechargeable lithium battery. However, don't be too surprised if that battery doesn't make it on the journey, in the sense that you might get it, it's, it's a little bit flaky. Um, I ordered about uh, five or six of these type RTCs, and a couple were okay, three of them were, were dead on arrival, but I think they're, they're slowly regenerating themselves. So as I say, it probably will come with the battery, but don't be too surprised if it doesn't. Okay, that's it then. We've discussed the, the, the displays, the real-time clock, the, um, the board, the nanos, the breadboard, the cables. Get all that stuff together and you're good to go. Let's um, meet again on the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you're finding these videos useful and interesting. Remember, you can leave comments down below and also click that little button that says subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.